will it. say, this is true, I've learned more about how the show works. <laughs> yeah. I was only around. aware in the past that there were chairs and buttons. Remember and Karina's then, promo? Oh, yeah. No, no. I, and I knew that was a good thing when Karina turned around and was there. <laughs> But now I know how the show works, and I am cheering for this guy. I think he's an incredible talent. He's great. He's yeah, great I, this is uh, yes is the answer I'm going to be watching tonight. What else is there to do? Take a look at this beautiful <laughs> out there. That's uh, one of our webcams up along the north coast at ksby.com. Not only you get that live view, you also get the Surfline weather forecast for surf from us for free just by checking out our website. This is San Luis Obispo right now. Look at the rebound the hills have made in terms of color thanks to recent rainfall. Santa Maria 60, 60 San Luis, 63 Paso, 61 Lompoc, and 70 in Santa Barbara. Let's take a look at the winds right now. 22 miles per hour in San Luis Obispo and 20 in Lompoc. Paso Robles 12, Santa Barbara 17. So winds are cranking. Why? High pressure is building back into the area. It's going to drive some offshore wind later on tonight and then pump up the temperatures tomorrow right around 70 degrees for much of the area near 80 degree temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. Even in Paso Robles, we're going to really see those temperatures starting to spike. So San Luis Obispo, a bit of a transition day tomorrow. Again, a little bit of offshore flow. Onshore flow later in the afternoon, lower 70s for daytime highs. It's going to be a nice day like today, but again, just a little on the breezy side. Santa Maria up to about 70 degrees. Same situation with the winds. There will be some offshore flow tonight. I don't think it's going to be incredibly windy. There is one area, though, where I do think the winds will be a factor tonight. We'll talk about that coming up. Paso Robles crawling up all day back to about 70 degrees, but again, the air is fairly dry, so the overnight lows will drop into the 30s. Microclimate model, let's look for anything in the way of cloud cover here as we move forward, and you won't see that much. Yes, we're going to see some offshore flow. Maybe a few high clouds getting caught up here and there over the central coast as we go through this week, but nothing significant. The marine layer isn't really forming up very well through much of this week either. Satellite radar composite again shows clear skies here and area of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska, and you can see all this flow. That's the new position of the jet stream, and it's going to stay out there. It's a thousand miles away from here. This is the river of air that basically steers storm systems. Going to be so far away that this extended forecast looking pretty quiet. Wind advisory, Santa Barbara County Mountains, north winds 15 to 30 gusts to 45 into early tomorrow morning. National weather is kind of interesting. East Coast quiet now, but there's a major system in the middle of the country. So showers in Chicago and Kansas City tomorrow with some snow on the backside of the system and thunderstorms in Dallas tomorrow. Out here in the west, there's some activity up in Seattle, just 51 degrees, but across the Golden State, we're looking at 74 in Sacramento and 71 in San Diego. Closer to home, 71 San Luis, 67 Santa Barbara, and 70 in Paso Robles. Overnight lows tonight will be in the 30s for some, so it will be kind of cool with this offshore flow. But again, tomorrow's rebound will be pretty nice. Pretty chilly out in Shandon, California Valley. I think we avoid freezing, but it will definitely be a cool start tomorrow morning in North County. Set in forecast here, look at that jump in temperatures for Wednesday and Thursday, only coming off a little as we approach the weekend. We're approaching the break right now. See you.